Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. So glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin with Day 295, October 21st, Reflection and Worship, Going with the Gospel. But before we get started, I just want to say it's an awesome time to reflect on the six previous days of reading. And like I always say, it's another chance to catch up. If you might have fell behind or you might be behind, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Don't quit. Whatever you do, just keep reading. God rewards faithfulness, not perfection. So just hang in there. Keep on keeping on. And God will bless you for your faithfulness. Okay, let's get started. It's good to be a Christian and know it. It's better to be a Christian and show it. That's so true. Look back. Mark presents Jesus as the selfless servant laying down his life for others. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10, 45. Luke presents Jesus as the perfect man, keenly interested in the human condition. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Luke 19.10 Mark and Luke are two of the synoptic gospels Matthew being the third, so-called because they recount many of the same events from the life and ministry of Jesus, and so can be profitably studied side by side. Synoptic comes from the root idea to see side by side. Look up. Be careful where you get your information. Your facts will be no more reliable than your source. After reading the Christmas accounts in the Gospels, try this Christmas story trivia quiz. It may surprise you to learn how many of the facts that you thought you knew are merely the stuff of Christmas cards and carols. How did Joseph and Mary travel to Bethlehem? By donkey? By camel? On foot? D. The Bible doesn't say. Which animals were present at Jesus' birth? A. Cows, sheep, and goats. B. Cows, donkeys, and sheep. C. Sheep and goats, and D, the Bible doesn't say. What did the angels sing? A, joy to the world, B, alleluia, C, for unto us a child is born, D, glory to God in the highest, E, none of the above. 4, how many wise men came to see Jesus? A, 3, B, more than 3, C, less than 3, D. The Bible doesn't say. 5. Where did the wise men find Jesus? A. In the manger. B. In a stable. C. In a house. D. In an inn. 6. What is frankincense? A. A precious metal. B. A precious fabric. C. A precious perfume. D. An eastern monster. 7. Where do we find the Christmas story in order to check up on all these facts? A. Matthew B. Mark C. Luke D. John E. All of these F. Only A and B G. Only A and C H. Only A B and C I. None of the above Answers 1 is D 2 is D 3 is E, the Bible doesn't say they sing, 4 is D, 5 is C, 6 is C, 7 is G. Look ahead. Good news deserves to be shared. As you continue to read through the Gospels, notice how Jesus engages in conversations with those who need to know God's love firsthand. Some individuals come to him with questions and needs, Luke 8, 41-42, 10, 25. At other times, 
Jesus initiates the conversation. Luke 9, 1 to 5. Today you will likely experience both kinds of encounters. Those you initiate, such as shopping at a store or greeting a co-worker, and those initiated by others, such as having your mail delivered or someone making an appointment to see you at work. In both cases, follow the advice of 1 Peter 3.15. And if someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. That is so good and godly wise advice for all of us. That's all for today, my friends. It was great reading along with you. Have a great day and keep on keeping on. And I will see you tomorrow. Lord willing, peace.